a short class, 15 to 20 minutes, um, that is mostly just going to be about stretch. And so goal is to get some stretch, feel good in your body, work out some of those kinks. All right, so let's go ahead and lie down on our backs. And we'll just take a minute or two to just kind of connect to your breath. We don't need to use the Pilates breath right now, just kind of being aware of it. So just starting to notice it. Where do you feel it? Can you kind of explore the idea of feeling the breath in more places. So if you're just feeling it kind of around the collarbones, neck, head area, can you deepen that? Feeling it in the ribs, maybe even down to the belly. Again, not necessarily tightening on the exhale for right now. I'm going to slide my right knee in. I'm going to stretch my left leg out. I'm going to push my left foot as far away from me as I can. And I'm going to pull this right knee in towards me in opposition. So I have this sense of opening up through the left hip flexor. I'm just going to slide my hands behind my thigh here. You could use a strap or a towel if you want to. I'm just keeping it simple. And we're just going to take an inhale and stretch the leg up. Exhale, flex the foot. Inhale, point. Exhale, bend. So that's the pattern. And it's inhale up. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. And exhale, bend. And really see if you can articulate those feet. So foot flexes, not just the toes, but the whole foot, point and bend. Let's do one more. Inhale up, exhale, inhale and bend. And we'll slide that foot down and hug this one in. Pushing away from me with my right leg, hugging the left in towards me. Just for a few breaths. Again, can, can just be normal breath for right now. It's fine. If you want to exhale through the mouth, tighten your belly, you can. But. And sliding the hands around like a little hammock, we'll take that leg up. Flex, point, and bend. Inhale up, exhale, flex, point, and bend. One more here, flex, point, bend in. Good. All right, and we'll just go ahead and take that foot to the floor. And we're going to reach the arms overhead and take the head and the arms a little bit over towards the right side of your mat. And then stretch your legs out also towards the right side of your mat. So you're kind of going for the corner of your mat. I like to cross an ankle, but you don't have to. So head, arms, feet are towards the right. The left side is kind of bowing out like a banana or crescent. And I'm just going to take some breath into that side. I'm using the breath to kind of assist getting a deeper stretch. And then bringing it back to the center, let the arms release for a minute, knees bent. And then we'll go the other direction. So reaching to the left with the head and the arms. If you need to bend the arms, bend the arms. And stretching the feet over to the left, letting that right side open up.
Bring it back to the center. Bend the knees. Roll to your side or do a roll up if you want to work in just a little bit of abdominals. And we're going to come to our hands and our knees. You can use a blanket or a towel under your knees or you can just fold your mat if you need to. You don't have to. Um, I kind of need to. So, I'm going to start on in a tabletop position. Uh, soft through the elbows, so try not to lock your elbows out like that, but more keep them a little bit soft with the elbow, inside of the elbows, pointing in. And if you need to, go down forearms, go, you know, use hands on a soft roller, fists, whatever you need to do to make this comfortable. We're going to start with the left leg stretching back. Good. And I'm just going to shift my weight back through that heel, and then I'm going to come forward a little bit. So again, it could be here. We are going to be on the hands and knees a bit, but I'll try to give you some intervals. Now I'm going to stay here in the center. I'm going to take this left leg over towards the right, so I'm crossing it over. And then I'm going to let it bend. If that hurts to bend that knee in that direction, keep that leg straight. Bend, and I'm just going to sit back a little bit. I'm not going to be able to sit way, way back like child's pose, but I'm just going to kind of push back towards my foot, get some stretch through the hips, particularly the left one. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to stretch it back behind me, and I'm going to slide it out to the side. I'm kind of just tracing a circle until I get out here just straight off the hip. And I'm in parallel, my toes are pointing forward, or my feet are, is flat, or you can sickle the foot so that the edge of your foot is on the mat, depending on what feels better to you. And now I'm just going to hang and breathe a little bit. This is probably plenty for me if you're not getting a whole lot of stretch. Come down to your forearms and keep your back as nice and flat if you do that. And then I'm going to sneak it up, kind of still on the diagonal, going off towards the corner there. And I'm just going to flex my foot and I'm going to sit back towards this back heel again. Bend that knee. I'm going to sneak it in towards my hand. So both of my hands are on the mat, my foot's on the outside of my hand. Okay, and I'm just going to take my left hand to my knee. I'm going to kind of push into the floor with that other hand. And then I'm going to stretch this arm up if I want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can reach it back, reach it overhead, and come back. And then I'm just going to do one more little wiggle, transitioning the foot to the center. So now I'm not out to the side. I'm right in the middle. And I'm going to come up into just a low lunge. Hello. A little bit like Eve's lunge, but without the movement. And hands are coming back down. And I'm going to start wiggling my way out. I'm going to slide it out on that diagonal. So I'm going to retrace my path. I'm just going to come out to the side, not staying in any of them, but just kind of going through those stages again and knee comes down. Let's just sit back, take the hands back to your heels, lift your head, hang down, rounding the back. If you need some support for your head, towel, block, this. <laughs> Move the wrists around a little bit if you need to. Got to do the other side. So we'll come on back. So that left, uh, sorry, right leg now is stretching back. And we're just going to push back through the heel a little bit and let the weight come forward. Soft elbows, push back and forward. Pushing back, come forward. We're going to slide that leg over. And you can stay like this with the leg straight. And if I, you do that, I like to take a peek at my back foot. Or you can put that knee down and kind of sit back towards your hips. 
towards your heels, sorry. You'll feel that more in your right hip, probably. Coming on back, we're gonna reach it back to the starting position. And now it's gonna start sneaking out to the side till it comes right off of my hip, straight out to the side there. You can see my foot over here, hi. And the foot can be flat or it can be turned on the inner edge of the foot, either one. Once again, if you're getting either need a stretch or need a break for your wrist, come down to the forearms. See if you can keep your back long, flat. And slide it on up. Flex the foot, so I'm kind of going off to the corner, sitting back towards the heel a little bit. Some of you may be able to sit way back. This is this is it for me right now. I'm gonna bend the knee and sink my foot in to the outer edge of my mat, but I'm gonna keep both hands on the inside of the mat. And then I'm going to take my right hand to my knee. I'm just going to push into the knee a little bit to get a twist here. And if I want to, I can stretch this arm up. You don't have to. This arm, it needs to be pushing down, staying nice and strong. And come back down. One more sneaky movement of the foot into the center. Hands on either side. If you need to keep the hands down, do. Otherwise, coming up to that low lunge again. Stretching open the front of the hip a little bit more. Pretty hip focused, this class. And hands down, we're gonna shift gears to the shoulders in a minute. And walk that foot out, stretch it out to the side, and just let it trace the path back behind you again. And then let it come in. And we're gonna walk the hands way forward, stick your booty out a little bit, and drop your chest puppy and maybe even lift your fingers a little bit wiggle them it's kind of stretching in the other direction good and um we'll go ahead and do one more hands and knees if you need to pause this circle your wrists take a break just certainly you can uh, it's just efficient to do it this way. So um, this one's going to be more for the shoulders, but kind of similar, the idea of reaching around. So I'm going to start by stretching my right hand forward with the palm down. This arm, as you can see, has to bend. I'm just going to go ahead and put it down. And just know that throughout this, your supporting arm can move. It can be in any position that's comfortable to you. Same with your head. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna slide it in. I'm gonna reach up towards the ceiling just to get a little counter stretch. And I'm gonna kind of reach out towards the corner of my mat, kind of like I did with the leg. And again, I'm coming down to the forearm for this one. You can stay up if you want. I like to kind of get down there. And then we're gonna stretch up. And we're gonna go straight off the side. So, um, I should have done the other side first. So, like that. Arm is straight off the shoulder, palm still down. And I like this arm to stretch forward for this one, but again, you can do what you want. Kind of coming back in, reach up, inhale. Exhale one more, reaching back towards the back corner of the mat, getting kind of close to your foot. Not super close. Reach, reach. Head can do whatever you need it to do. Rest on the fist, rest on the block, turn the head, whatever. Coming back into that tabletop, reach up, inhale. This one is gonna exhale. I'm threading my arm through, palm up, through my legs. Looks a little odd, but it feels pretty good. Let that shoulder come down, let the head rest. Nice, easy, not a lot of pressure there. I like this position for the other arm, and this is palm up, by the way, back here. 
Some people prefer this. Some people want to tuck this hand back. So whatever feels good to you. We'll hear that a lot today. And then we'll come back up, twist again. And then this is kind of your classic thread the needle, like in yoga. And I should say that I learned this exercise from my teacher, Jenna Savino. Because it, it is something that everybody knows there's thread the needle, but I've not seen the whole reach around thing. And reaching up, inhale. And exhale, kind of to the diagonal again. I'm still palm up. I'm letting my head rest down on the side because that's comfortable to me. I can move this arm if I want to out of the way. And I'm reaching up one more time and going forward with palm up. Sorry, palm up this time. And then we're just going to come up to sitting on your knees. And we'll just take an inhale to lift the hips, opening up the front of the hips, and exhale to hinge down. And inhale to lift up, and exhale to hinge down. And one more time to lift up, and exhale to hinge down. And then we'll just take the hands to the floor, come to your tippy toes. And so you're in a little ball and you're just gonna inhale and exhale to stretch into a long forward fold here. If you have to bend the knees a little, that's fine. We're just giving you a little break off those knees. And then we're gonna come back down to that little ball shape. Knees come back to the floor. And other arm. All right, so left arm is reaching forward, palm down. I'm gonna to come to the right forearm. You adjust as you need to. I couldn't remember for a minute if I had done this. And then reaching up, out to the diagonal, past the corner of your mat, palm still down. Reaching up and taking it out straight off the shoulder, palm down. I'm going to make my little pillow for my head here. So remember your head and your supporting arm can move around. They can, they can choose their position. There's not like one right. Reach up. Now I'm going to reach back towards that back corner of the mat. you can sneak it a little further for a little more stretch. It just kind of depends how much you want. And coming back, I'm reaching up, inhale. This is the one where we're gonna dive through the legs, palm up. So I'm gonna come down onto the shoulder, let my head rest on the mat. I like right arm forward here, palm is up on the back hand. You could also have kind of a kickstand arm, reach the arm up, circle your wrist, tuck it, Whatever. Coming up, inhale, reaching up for the ceiling, and exhale, reaching on the back diagonal. Palm is still up. All right, so I'm kind of reaching back towards that back corner, back towards my right foot, just for that much. Breathing however you want to breathe. Inhale it, and exhale, thread the needle. Shoulder comes down, head rests easily. Sneak the arm forward or do whatever you want to. Reaching up and stretching the forward to the corner. Back in, reach. Last one, reach forward, 
palm up. Slide it in and just take one more child's pose. Maybe take your hands back by your heels if you want to, if, if it's okay to, for you to let your head hang down. your time to come up and we'll kind of come back to a seated position we're going to take this mermaid sit so um, left hip is down or if you're mirroring me right hip but back hip let's say is down and kind of a just foot in foot in is fine if you need to adjust a little bit do if you need to put um, a cushion under you then that can be helpful for this too all right so take your hand take it to that back hip so left hand for me left hip and just feel that hip crease right now and as much as you can let that hip relax down towards the mat I know it's not it's a kind of a challenging position and we're just going to start by pushing that hip into the hand. That's going to start you a spiral and you're going to look to the back. And then the hip's going to go first. So push the hip down, turn the waist, turn the ribs, turn the head. And again, push with the hip. So my butt cheek is coming off of the mat and I'm twisting and looking. And then I'm going to start back here, inhale, drop the hip, exhale, untwist. And one more time, hip, I kind of led with my upper body that time. And hip down, and back to the center. And then we'll just briefly take the legs out into a second position, but not in a turnout. So the knees and toes are straight up. And we're going to go into a hover position with a rounded back. I'll turn so you can see what it looks like from the side. We're going to go hover and then we're going to stretch the spine out into a long hinge like a ski slope. And then you're going to go more rounded like a hill and then long flat line. Exhale round. Starting from the tail, reaching out, lengthen the back up. Good, and we'll switch sides. All right, so we've got our mermaid set. Get your cushion if you need to. Hands gonna come into the hip crease. So you really feel right where that fold is. And, the, and this is basically just an unfold and a refold of the hip which is going to take us into that spiraling twist. So you'll just let this arm kind of float with you. So we'll start with pushing the hip into the hand. That's going to kind of lift you up into a spiral twist. Take the hand down if you want, look back. And then hip first, push the hip down. Let the waist come, let the ribs come, the shoulders and the eyes. And again, push with the hip. This butt cheek will lift off of the floor. Look back, fold the hip down, and spiral. Let's do it one more time. Hip down. Good. And then let's just take a seat, cross-legged, or whatever's comfortable for you. And just let your fingertips rest on the floor. We're gonna let the right ear go towards the right shoulder. Real gentle. Sneak your left hand away a little bit so you feel a little more pull over here. Lift the hand, turn the palm so it's facing forward and your thumb is up like you're hitchhiking, and then turn the palm down to face your mat, and then turn the palm backwards so your thumb is down and your pinky is up. If that's okay, take your hand behind you and let your eyes look down. If this internal rotation bothers you, you just come back and let your hand rest in your lap. All right, so eyes are looking down towards that right knee. 
and just look straight up from there. So you're all kind of gazing off into the distance and then bring your hand forward. And again, you're just breathing as you need to breathe. Fingertips down. I'm going to uncross my legs and recross to switch. And this time I'm going left ear. I'm pretty tight, so I don't try to force things here. Sneak, sneak, sneak over with those fingertips. There's something over there I want. My lunch. <laughs> and then just let the hand kind of float. And we'll go palm turns uh, forward, thumb up, hitchhiker. Palm turns towards the mat. And then internal rotation, thumb down, palm back. Now, if that bothers you, you're going to rest your hand in your lap. Otherwise, you're sliding that hand behind your back. You're letting your eyes look towards your left knee. So you still have the head in this little tiny tilt the whole time. And we're just now going to look down also. And when you're ready, you'll lift your eyes with an inhale and exhale to bring the head back to the center. And we're just going to close with some breath. We're going to do a three count breath. Inhale, inhale, inhale up. Exhale, exhale, exhale down. And then one just big breath. All right. So we're going to start with the palms up and we're going to turn the arms. Flip. Now one big one. Scoop up the air. Look up a little bit. Open your arms. Lift your chest. Eyes up just a little. And eyes forward. Hands come down to relax. And you are finished. I hope that felt good to your body to move and stretch. And I look forward to seeing you at the studio.